This is the solution to quiz 11. Okay. So the product function, so the for the expression, the product function evaluated at x, well, that is uh, 8x plus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 5, and then carry out that product, that would be 16x squared, uh, and then plus 6x minus 40x, so that would be minus 34x, uh, and then minus 15. <coughs> Okay, so that's using FOIL. And then for the domain, the domain is going to be the intersection of the individual domains. So that's 3 to 13, and then intersect negative 4 to 14, like so. <coughs> so that intersection is uh, actually 3 to 13. <coughs> so to see that, to see why that's the case, we could plot both domains so we'll plot 3 to 13, and also negative 4 to 14. So negative 4 is the leftmost point, and positive 14 is the rightmost point. So this set looks like this. Uh, then 3 <coughs> to 13 looks something like this. So closed at 3 and then open at 13. And we want to know everywhere that we have a red and a green point at the same time, <coughs> well, that's exactly when we have a red point. Okay, good. <coughs> okay, similar question. Uh, so, P divide Q, evaluate at X, <coughs> So that'll be uh, x squared minus 10x plus 21, and then divide by <coughs> x minus 7. Well, that uh, quadratic factors to x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 7, and then over x minus 7. So the x minus 7's cancel, and we're left with x minus 3. <coughs> okay. That's the expression. For the domain, it's going to be uh, 0 to 14 intersect the other domain, 1 to 10. But now intersect <coughs> everywhere that Q is, is not 0. So Q is 0. Q has a 0 at 7. So this is intersect anything but 7. So the reason for this necessity is that this is where Q, Q, of x is not zero.
because you can't divide by zero. <coughs> okay. So this would be equal to one to seven, <coughs> open, union, seven to 10, like so. So the reason why that's the case is because there's three requirements. So we could plot three number lines. <coughs> okay, so then we have 0 to 14, 1 to 10, and anything but 7. So of all these, the leftmost point is 0, so I'll plot it. So 0. And then of what remains, the leftmost point is 1, so I'll plot it. 1. And then of what remains, the leftmost point is 7, so I'll plot it. But it needs to be open because we can't have it. <coughs> then of what remains, 10. So that interval looks like this. And then of what remains 14, but it's open. So now, since it says anything but 7, that means we have all of this. Except 7, of course. So the question is, for these three, where do we have uh, red and blue and green? Well, starting at 1, we lose 7, and then from 7 to 10. And that's the answer to question 1. <coughs> for question 2, uh, well, that is by definition, f evaluated at 8 divided by g evaluated at 8. So, if we plug in 8, we get 5 for f, and we get 7 for g. Okay, good. This is by definition, g of f of 6. So, if we plug 6 into f, we get a 2, so this is g of Two, and then if we plug a two into g, <coughs> uh, plug a two into g, then we get a nine. So nine. This is by definition uh, f of three multiplied by g of three. So that is uh, take f, plug in three, you get four. Take G, plug in 3, you get 1. So the answer is 4. This is F evaluated at F of 0. Plugging in 0, you get 9. So this is F of 9. And then plugging in 9, uh, you get huh, 0. That's funny. OK, fine. And then. <coughs> We want to uh, figure out well, what do we get if we do this uh, 1,104 times. Okay. Well, let's do it. Uh, let's do it just a few times first. So how about <coughs> uh, let's take that nine and then and then put it through the G machine. So if we give 9 to g, it gives us a 0. And now let's take that and put it through g again. So if we plug 0 into g, we get a 4. Let's plug it into g again. 
So if we plug 4 into G, we get a 5. Okay. 5 into G, we get a 3. <coughs> plug 3 into G, we get a 1. Plug 1 into G, we get an 8. <coughs> Plug 8 into G, we get a 7. Plug 7 into G, we get a 6. And we plug 6. <laughs> into G we get a 2 <coughs> and then we plug that 2 into G run out of room there uh, we get uh, 9 so that means that after doing G uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times is the same as doing nothing. So that means that G, circ, G, circ, dot, 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 circ, G of 9 is 9, where this is 10 times. Therefore, <coughs> we could do G circ, G circ, dot dot dot, circ, G of 9, and we'll get 9 as long as the number of times that we do it is a multiple of 10. Any multiple of 10? Well, 1100 is a multiple of 10. So we can go all the way to 1100 and we'll get back to a 9. <coughs> so therefore, G circ, G circ, dot dot dot, circ, G evaluated at 9. Uh, 1104 times is the same as doing it just four times. G circ, G circ, G circ, G evaluate at nine. And that is one, two, three, four times, you get a three. So this question is in that way, just like asking uh, if it's if it's 15 o'clock right now, then what time will it be in 24 hours? It'll still be 15 o'clock. What time will it be in 25 hours? It'll be 16 o'clock, etc. Just keeps wrapping around and around like a clock. <coughs> Okay. Okay, so what's depicted is a shift in a scale. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, just comparing points, I can see that it has become go going this way. It has become wider. So it looks like there's a horizontal scale. And also comparing points, I can see, for example, this segment has moved up. So it looks like it got wider and it moved up. So let's try and figure out uh, what happened. So for example, I can see this point here. <coughs> 
this point here has coordinates uh, negative 2 and 0. And the corresponding point over here is negative 4 and 3. So it looks to me like, uh, considering that, it looks like the x-coordinate was doubled it also looks like the uh, vertical coordinate we went up three so now that means that to get the object to move up three that means we had to pull the coordinate system down three so that means that y becomes y minus 3. And then to get the object, the plot, to get wider, uh, you had to make the coordinate system smaller. <coughs> so this would be p of x over 2. OK, good. <coughs> So now is the opposite question, and that is that the equations are given, but now we need to draw the plot. Okay, so I can see that y becomes y minus 5, or uh, sorry, y plus 5. <coughs> so that, that means that the plot is going to go down 5, because that's moving the coordinate system up 5, and the coordinate system is doubling uh, its width so that means that it's the plot is going to go undergo a horizontal shrink of factor 2 <coughs> okay so let's do this point by point <coughs> So this uh, red point here, that is negative 4, negative 2. So we're going to have to move it down 5, <coughs> and then we're going to have to uh, divide the horizontal coordinate by 2. So this is going to go to... <coughs> going to go to the point negative 2, dividing that by 2, and uh, negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. So negative 2, negative 7, 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay. Let's try another one. So this is the point uh, 0, 1. So it's going to become, so the plot's going to move down 5, so then it's going to go to negative 4 in height, and then horizontal shrink of 2, so we need to divide 0 by 2, but that's still 0. So 0, negative 4, so 0, and then 2, 4. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Another point, <clears throat> this is the point 2, 4. <clears throat> so horizontal shrink, so that means that 2 is going to be divided by 2, so 1, and then down 5, so 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So 1, negative 1. <clears throat> This is 4 and 8. So it's going to go to, so horizontal shrink of 2, so the first coordinate is divided by 2, 
and the second coordinate we subtract 5, so 2, 3, 2, 3. And then connect those dots. <coughs> And that's the answer.